what's up guys it's me Haley here back from a little law enforcement legend and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my uh, police dogs or canines gear um, as you guys know or most of you guys know if you're new you probably don't know this I want to be a police officer when I grow up and I I want to work in a very specific unit called the canine unit you handle a police dog and that's your job so uh, let's get into it Alright guys, so this is Kenan Roman. He is a fake, two and a half feet tall, listed as a German Shepherd, but he looks more like a Malinois to me, so I call him a Malinois, Belgian Malinois, or Maligator. Um, he's got brown eyes, uh, yeah, uh, he's a standard colored one with the black on the back, and then this. And then the fawn on the front and the brownish tan. Alright, so starting off with him. This is his off-duty, everyday collar. It is just one of my old police belts. Um, yeah. And then right back here is where one of the belt loops would be. I just use that to keep his leash. So when we go for walks or something, obviously not real, but when we go for walks or something, he has a belt loop. He a good boy, though. I do have two real dogs, if you're wondering. Um, they're not really a police dog. Tiro, one's 15 pounds and one's 22 pounds. 23 now, I think. He's big for what he's supposed to be. All right. So now we are going to move down and do some gear, but I'm also going to put it on him just to show you guys what it looks like. All right. Starting right here, I have this case. This like felt case. It's a drawstring bag. Um, it keeps some ski goggles in, but if you guys have ever heard the ta term goggles or doggles, sorry, yeah, they're goggles for dogs. Um, I just I don't go skiing that often, so I just keep this in my patrol bag for him. So let's put it on him. They look pretty cool on him. Let's see. Obviously, they're not the necessary color of it, but I think they still make them look pretty cool. Alright, so moving back down. Right here, I have my my dog's harness, an old harness of hers. Um, and I just use this as a muzzle. It's so small on this dog that I just use it as the muzzle for him. So basically, you just... I'm going to pop those up real quick. Take this. You string the first one on his mouth, and then you pull this. You pull this one, and you kind of pull it back so he can't bite. Let's see if I can get it. Sometimes it's a little bit harder. And then you just tuck this right here. Obviously not doing what a real muzzle should do, but... It looks okay, and yeah. Let me get it tucked in. That's all right. We'll just keep it like that for now. So it looks like I'm just gonna do this real quick though, because yeah, that's how you put it on. You just put it on like that. Pretty cool. And I'll slide those goggles back on for him. So moving on. Right here, I have his um, e collar, shot collar, electrical collar, whatever you want to call it. Um, looks like this. Uh, it it's a black collar from the Dollar Tree, and then I just used some cardboard and um, cut it and made it into a little box and taped it on with electrical tape, and it looks like that. And you just put it on him like this. Uh, this is actually pretty low on his neck compared to the other things, so you just put the, make sure the buckle's in the back, and you just buckle it like this. If I can get it on, this collar though, um, is pretty tight on him, and it doesn't help that the goggles are on before he, um, actually um is actually uh puts his collar on so it just looks like that 
pretty cool. And so this is what he looks like so far. Let's spin around. So right here, I have my choke chain with a Dollar Tree um, badge on it. Uh, the reason I go to the Dollar Tree so often is because it's cheap, doesn't break my wallet, and yeah. Because I've got important things to save up for. So yeah. And that just, this might mess up some things, but that just slides over him. And that's just his identification collar. And it can also be used for obedience. If the dog's not being obedient, you can give him a quick snap. And they should get that that is a correction and move on. And that just, and it drips down to over this collar. I always keep this collar on just because I like it on always. And there we go. And it looks like that. All right. Um, now I'm going to do these leashes. So this leash here I bought in, ooh, how long ago did I buy this? I would say I bought this about two years ago. Um, off of Amazon, it's a reflective uh, leash. Um, it's starting to rust up on the clip right here. But that's all right. It still works. I wish I got a plain black lead, not the reflective one, but that's okay. And then I can just, I normally hook it on to his chain collar, but sometimes I can hook it on to his other ones. So that's on there. Right here. I bought this for my real dogs, but we don't use it too often, so that's why I'm using it. It is a 20-foot retractable leash. Uh, the reason I like it is for, like, if we do car searches, um, it's a little bit more controlled, but also lets the dog... It's more controlled than a tracking leash, but lets the dog have more room than the, this. So I just... And that will go on the normal collar. And yeah, so that just looks like that. And it's 20 foot, as I said. All right, this is probably the most exciting part. His vest. So this is a Nerf vest. Um, Nerf and Strike Easy. Uh, this was my old control vest. Um, but now I have a paintball protector that I use, which is a lot better than this one. Believe me, um, and you just take this right here, and I don't even care about the arm holes really when I put it on him. Um, it just goes on in nicely. Um, there's three of these Velcro straps, and then you just attach it to the other side with the Velcro. On the other side, you can just, ah, that's the wrong strap. But yeah, it's... Pretty cool. I think being a dog handler is one of the coolest, but also it is pretty dangerous because um, it's dangerous and also a little bit sad because you know one day you might send your dog somewhere and they might. Um, that's the unfortunate truth of it, but life goes on even when your partner dies, but he's going to stick with you forever in your heart. It's very sad, though, when you lose a dog, because that was your partner. You spent more time with him than you did your family. It's very sad, but it's the unfortunate truth. Got this job. Not a real cop. I do this for fun. He looks a little bit silly with his muzzle on, but so I'm going to take that off because he looks silly. There we go. So that's just... I don't carry anything on it, even though there's so many pockets and what have you. I just don't. Oh, it's on the wrong way. But anyway, I would have this on the back because it's got the handles. Or if I need to lower him down, I have these. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, these are just things I carry Um. On my uniform, I have a tennis ball form. You wouldn't see normal patrol officers carrying those. And then I have this, which is a Dollar Tree um, 
Police walkie talkie. I just use it as the e collar remote. Pretty cool. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as I said, yo, like, subscribe, share this video with all your friends. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy.